Okay, well, this is kind of a funny one. Um, funny, strange, I don't know what you'd call it, but um, I'd gotten this G3, kind of a, a, you know, one of these bare bones type uh, where you have to get the, the memory and the processor and, you know, the storage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And when I bought it, I also bought a um, i5-6500T because back, it wasn't that long ago, but I didn't realize, um, well, I should say back then I said, well, it's a G3, it's going to also use the same processor as my G2, I'll just get the, the i5. And that was fine. And then fast forward, and I started seeing all these posts uh, on the channel saying, hey, you know, um, that G3, you can put a 7th gen in the uh, unit. It doesn't have to be 6th gen. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's right. And I look up the specs. And so then I started thinking, oh, well, maybe I should, you know, I, I've, I've got a... Uh, a fourth gen in my um, G1. I've got a, um, a sixth gen in the G2. I've got an eighth gen in the G4. You know, and I'm kind of a person who likes to collect stuff. So why don't I get a seventh gen? And so I thought, well, I'll get the seventh gen. And then what will I do with the one that's in there? And then that got me thinking about maybe getting a um, a 65 watt uh, G3, which I also end up buying. Well, so long story, I then realized as I'm looking at this G3 that it actually has a little sticker here that says i5 V Pro 7th Gen. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe I should put the 7th Gen in the 7th Gen you know, sort of case. And then I turned it around and I'm looking at it and I notice, get that so everyone can read it, that here, if you see, it's saying 800G3, da 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 da, i5 7500T, and then it's got this 256P8. C, I, I don't know if that's really a C, probably a G, and then this 54K. And I'm like, oh, okay. So when this unit was first purchased, it had a 7500T in it. Uh, the 20, 256P, I believe, stands for the fact that it was 256 and it was a... Um, uh, non-mechanical, so most likely a, uh, a SATA drive. Uh, the 8C, 8G is, you know, the, the base memory. Still not sure with the 54K, um, whether that deals with the fact that the hybrid drive, um, you know, 50, you know, with the speed, 54K, but, but I've noticed a lot of them. So, I thought... It might be interesting to put together a video in which I show how you can look at um, your Elite Desk and kind of find its origin story. You know, uh, when what did it come out? You know, when did the warranty expire on it? Um, what did it probably have in its base configuration when it came from the factory? As long as you can get the serial number, you can find out a lot about it. And so this is kind of handy, especially if you're thinking of buying something, just to get an idea of, you know, what what was the original, um, you know, is the seller um, are giving you something that maybe was, um, I don't know, dumbed down, um, you know, did it used to have a much uh, stronger processor in it? Um, you know, what kind of drive did it start out with? Particularly also kind of for the, I don't know, the purist, the collector, the, 
Um, you know, I think about those uh, those folks out there that restore um, uh, old cars. So sometimes um, they like to put in the new, you know, the modern AC and the and the um, you know the 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 player that can stream your stuff over Wi-Fi and all that stuff. But then there's the other type that hey, they want the exact AM radio that was in there when it came off the showroom, and I want the exact cigarette lighter that looked the same way because I want it to give that feel. So I thought again, this might help you. You know, if you want to do that sort of thing, um, especially as these. Um, get older and you know everyone's got their their thing and it's just kind of interesting just to find out how it is so um, we'll take this as an example and look it up and find some uh, details about it and maybe also look at um, some of the other units here's a g4 that i got um, that was also sort of a bare bones um, unit you notice with this one it's got, so when it came out of the showroom, so to speak, it had a, a um, 8500T. The 500H, I believe, is for a mechanical drive, and it had 8 gig. And, um, of course, 35 watt. Here's the serial number. We'll look that one up also. Uh, this was another one of those cases where I have another G4, and um, I always wondered why it came with a 8600T. And if you look on the bottom of that, it lo and behold, it will say 8600T. 80, so again, you know, for the trying to get everything matched up uh, to what it came off off the floor, and um, it is kind of fun to look at the um, eBay listings to see what kind of information you can learn uh, on some of these units. So what we want to do is we can type in um, HP serial number lookup. And we can do a warranty check of a serial number. So we'll try the um, the G3 first, paste that in, submit, and we see that the, um, obviously <laughs> it's expired, and uh, we look at some of the info in that um, looks like it came from the factory or purchased, that is, uh, June of 2018 with the end date of the warranty 2021. So um, that gives, let's see this, my G3 is around, what is that, six years old. So that kind of gives you an idea of, of how old the, the particular product is. Um, let's see, it's Energy Star. Um, now what we can do is What's kind of fun is also to go over to um, uh, parts, uh, was it HP Parts Sur uh, Surfer? Uh, parts. Parts Surfer. And you can pretty much do the same thing. We'll put in our serial number. And uh, depending on how old the uh, unit is, it should give us an idea of some of the parts that were used. So if we look here, um, it, eight gig uh, dim, uh, 60 watt, 65 watt power supply, which makes sense. Uh, looks like it had a 256 gig um, M.2 um, PCI and um, on the bottom of the as we saw before in the code it does say um, 256P which uh, you know in the various ones I've looked it seemed to be that that's how they differentiate between uh, mechanical versus um, NVMe drives um, nothing 
the rest of the stuff isn't too interesting. It looked like it came with Windows 10 uh, for the standard, but again, kind of give you an idea of what, what the unit looked like when you first got it, kind of the, uh, the origin story. So let's look at the same thing. Let's look at the G4. See how old it is. Let's see. Okay, that one came out in 2020, so it's about four years old. Um, uh, looks like, oh, interesting. That, huh, I didn't even realize that, that the technically the um, warranty on this guy had a five-year warranty. Wow. Someone must have uh, spent a little extra um, on this care package. Well, I have to know in case uh, there are any issues and uh, oh oh wait a minute that's fact oh oh so they must have paid for some sort of care pack to extend it problem di I see deliver rules problem diagnosis material on site support um that defective media retention okay so my normal warranty expired in 23, and that's parts and material. Well, you know, hmm, I wonder exactly what the, how they differentiate a part versus material. Um, hmm, okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. And same thing, let's go over to Part Surfer, paste that in, and see what we find. It does take a little bit there. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is kind of, I think there's more of the generic, uh, oh, uh, yep. So here's the 500 gig, um, hard disk drive. So it did, it did have a, um, mechanical 65 watt power supply. Um, I believe, let's see, let's see if we can find the, um, okay, so here's the sodium, okay, so here's the eight gig. Um, anything else that's interesting on here? How about, um, huh, this must have been part of a, a kind of a, maybe you got the, um, the keyboard and mouse with it so that um, hmm, quality tracking. I, I know that some of this stuff is probably things that you could get. Um, uh, interesting, the HDMI card. Um, okay, well, kind of gives an idea. Um, let's see if we can find uh, a couple other serial numbers. Okay, let's try. This is the serial number of my G1. Let's see if it if it's able to find it. Ah, did find it. Oh, wow. All the way back to 2016. And uh, with the thing expiring in 2019. Okay, so what is that? That... Uh, so my G1 is eight years old. Okay, let's see what if I'm still able to find anything on Part Surfer about it. I think it's going to be pretty sparse, but I don't know. Maybe some basic stuff like the power supply might still still be available. Oh, okay. So let's see. Um, wow, you can get down into the little. Grommets, the okay, so it looks like it did have a 500 gig um, Jaguar uh, um, yeah, HGST uh, hard drive. Looks like it came with four gig. Um, had the LAN card. Um, <laughs> this is funny. It looks like you can actually order the label. Uh, that that shows on it. That's interesting, huh? Okay, so it, it started out with Win um, uh, 8.1, 
antenna. Wow, they really go into it. The, the 65 watt power supply. Um, okay. Huh, yeah, very interesting. Okay, uh, one last one is let's look at G2. And, oh, interesting. My G2 is also eight years old. Okay. And, let's see what it shows on part server, Sur surf, <laughs> server, surfer. Five hundred gig hard drive. Uh, looks like it. It came with four gig originally. This looks very similar. Um, the CPU six five hundred T. Yeah, that makes sense. Thirty five watt LAN. Okay. Thought I'd just do a real quick one here. So I looked up. I was looking for um, elite desks. Um, and uh, saw that there was this one that uh, said it was an i5, 6500, 16 gig. Uh, didn't have a, um, a drive in it though. Uh, and if you look here, I know, sorry, it's, it's uh, sideways, but uh, if I zoom in a little bit, it'll say here that it's a, um, it does say it's an i5, 6500, uh, five, 12p so that meant that it uh, should have got had a 512 gig um, NVMe in there 16 gig which is what it's saying here and the picture shows that it's a single Samsung 16 gig stick I went over to part server surfer typed in the thing and yep lo and behold it was a Samsung 16 gig uh, 90 watt power supply. Uh, let's see, does it doesn't show anything about the oh, here we go. Uh, SSD 512. So uh, it matched up as far as the specs go. Uh, this unit is four years old. So, um, and this one, um, Actually, not a bad price for a 16 gig. You just add your own drive to it. So, okay.